Hey, what's up, you guys? Mara Hacks here, and today I'm going to show you how to make your Windows 7 look like an XP. Now, as you can see right here, you got the wallpaper, you got your start bar right here, you got your your bar at the bottom, your start menu. It looks just like an XP. Most of it, about maybe 95% of it, looks like an XP. Just about everything except for the folders. You know, the recycle bin up there. Okay, so as you can see the folder right there, the the button to exit out of things and minimize it, like those buttons up there, they'll look a little bit of the same, but I'll show you two different ways with two different themes. So as you can see, go to the download link in the description, scroll all the way down until you see Universal Theme Patcher. After that, you should see another Universal Theme Patcher link, and you should see the download link. Just click it, download it, and it'll save to your desktop. Okay, after it's saved to your desktop, you should have a WinRAR file. Just right click, extract it here. After it's done, you should have a folder. Open the folder. And when you open the folder, you should see all these files in there. Now, what you're going to have to do is go back to the website, the first link, and follow these instructions. The 86, I think it is, the 86, 7, no, the 86.exe is for 32-bit computers and the 64.exe is for 64-bit computers so follow the directions and after you're done with that you can go to the second link now the second link will take you to the download link for the theme file okay so you should get to this page right here after you go to the second link just go over here to the right and choose download file it shouldn't take too long it's a pretty small file okay and after that you should have another one more file just right click extract here like the other file and if you don't have WinRAR just I'll have another link in the description to get WinRAR just install it and then follow these instructions okay open the second folder up it should be a folder with a theme now what you're gonna wanna do is install the 84 or 86 whatever like I said before that's for the 32 bit and the 64 is for the 64 bit so install whichever one is for your computer and then after that install the other file that says install syntax I think it says and install theme after doing those files of installing after installing those files go into themes and simply copy these files and paste them into your C Windows resource I think it is and then themes so as you can see just go to your C drive go into the windows folder and then look for the resource folder resources I think just scroll all the way down not all the way down but it should be somewhere around there then go into themes and just simply paste it in there okay after that this shouldn't come up for you just come up for me because I already have it in there okay and after that and right click now and choose personalize now this will pull up a theme menu okay just scroll down until you see Luna and Luna Arrow right now I'm using Luna Arrow Okay, it's like a combination of Luna and Windows 7 Arrow theme. The buttons on the right top of any folder will look like the Windows 7 buttons at the top of a Windows 7 folder. But if you choose Luna, the buttons at the top will look like a Windows XP folder. Luna Arrow is just a combination of Luna theme from a Windows XP and a Windows 7 theme, which is an Arrow theme. And then Luna it's just a straight Windows XP theme that you would have if you, you know, like, it would make it look like a 100% Windows XP. Except for maybe the super bar down here, as you can see, and the little start button right there. Okay, so thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to check out my Facebook fan page if you like this video. If it helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up, favorite it, please. And subscribe, guys, for more, for more tutorials like this. I try to put out maybe about two or three videos every week if I have time most of the time I do or at least one video each week um, please subscribe guys if you have any questions or comments or anything you need help with just let me a comment or read a response and I'll try to respond as quick as possible please be sure to subscribe and follow me on Twitter at YouTube Mario and like I said there's a link in the description for a Facebook fan page please like it and I'll keep you up to date on both Facebook and Twitter so thanks for watching guys and be sure to subscribe